Jay Horowitz for the special edition of Amazing Conversations with my longtime friend Juan Lagaris. Juan, uh, November uh, 10th, 12th, well, uh, kind of a homecoming for you. The uh, Titans of the Caribbean, Dominican League, two teams, I say, and uh, Aguias playing at City Field. What's it going to be like for you to come back? I can wait for that day. You know, I saw when they told me that that series was going to happen, you know, I, I feel so happy, you know. I've been waiting for the home. Well, you know what I remember most about you is all the good catches and the good throws. You probably don't remember this. 2014, you get your gold glove. The third outfield in Mets history, you know, Beltran and Tommy Angel have a gold glove. My dear friend Shannon Ford and I, we were with you at a ceremony. You did a couple of interviews in English. And I was so proud of you that day. You know, you, you, you did it and, you know, now look at you now. But do you remember doing that day when we were together and you did some interviews in English? Uh, I remember part of it, you know, for that was the, probably the, the, the best moment in my career with the match. You know, that year was amazing. Well, tell me, how, how good do you think it's going to be for some of the younger players who never played in a major league park to be at City Field for, for three days? Uh, I think that want to be a great season, like you said. You know, it's a lot of young young players, you know, and uh, I've been taught today how, how is baseball in New York, you know, that it's like, kind of like here, you know, it's like loud and a lot of people, you know, and uh, I know they have a lot of family in New York too. That, that want to be great, you know, for us. Did, well, my my memory serves me correct. Did you used to live in Patterson for a while? Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I still live there, but not Patterson, you know, like probably five minutes close, close to Patterson. I still live in New York. Do you get back much or no? Yeah, probably I want to go home because my mom lives there, so I have to go see her, you know. And, uh, we are around the, the the field. We go have a lot of friends, a lot of family over there, too, so I know they want to be happy to have me there. What, what do you remember about 2015? You know, uh, we weren't expected to win, went on a great run. You know, and you had a great postseason. You hit well over 300 against the, the, the Dodgers, the Cubs, and, the, and, the, and Kansas City. What do you remember most about that season? Uh, that season was the unbelievable. You know, I think that everybody was doing what they supposed to do, pitching, you know, the balls as a hit. And, uh, we had a really good team that year, you know, that I don't play every day, you know that, and everybody knows, but like, oh, I was ready for the opportunity. I just to wait for the opportunity and try to help the team the most I could. Yeah, if I remember correct, you really took advantage. You know, we traded for for, for Cespedes at the end of July, and, and you adapted pretty well. We go left field, center field. You didn't complain at all. You did your role, got a lot of clutch hits. And, you know, I mean, it would have been easy not to be receptive to it, but you, you were a team player and had a great postseason for the Mets that year. Exactly. You know, that that when that happened, I just put in my mind, just keep working and be ready with the opportunity because uh, the opportunity want to come. I have to be ready. And that was what happened. You, you have one of the greatest nicknames ever, the King, because <laughs> you were the King of the Outfield. I don't know. I went back to some research, a couple of th- catches I remember. Um, a game in Philadelphia, you robbed Franco from a home run, went over the wall. And another one I remember, the game Cologne was pitching. You made a basket catch running in. Do you remember any of those plays at all? Yeah, I remember everyone. You know, like, all my teammates try to call me like dying. That made me feel good, you know. Because... That's a pretty good nickname, the King, because you were the King in the outfield. One of you, one of you had 15 assists, you know, when, and you really started off as a shortstop, right? You weren't an outfielder in the beginning. You started off as a shortstop. Yeah, yeah. When I started with the Mets, I had a short. But I think that helped me to play in the outfield too because I had a mobility, you know, and uh, you know you had to be quick to play in, in the evening. So I think that helped me when I started to play. One, have you seen Ronnie Mauricio play much? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I saw him play every day here. You know, and, uh, I think that he had a great time, you know. I mean, he's got power, speed, and he and he and he came up at the end. He did a good job for us at the end of the year. You know, I mean, was he on your team or another team? Uh he and the you say a different team. Yeah, and I was going to ask you, but tell me about Ellie De La Cruz, who got his start really in the Dominican League, and now he blossomed into almost superstar with the Reds. 
Yeah. Did you think he was going to be that good? I mean, they show everybody here in, um, in Dominica what they can do. And uh, Mauricio and De La Cruz, they was uh, amazing. You know, the, I think that w that team win for them because those guys was unbelievable. Well, a lot of the, the ticket money that goes to charities and the Dream Foundation to support sports in the Dominican, that's going to make you feel good because that's how you got your start and playing ball down there. So maybe in addition to be the great three three games, uh, November 10th and 12th, it'll help raise money for kids in the Dominican. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's that's unbelievable. You know, I think that they want to be grateful, like you said, for the key and uh, I think that opened another door for from the future. So I think that's an amazing idea. Well, you, you played with the Angels the last couple of years. Tell me about being teammates with Otani and Mike Trout. <laughs> and that was amazing. You know, to be in that crew, how we put all uh, Otani and Trout. And, uh, I think that's uh, something that, that I want to remember my whole life, you know, because they are. Everybody knows they are super baseball player and super human. And they are they outgoing guys? How are they personality wise? How are they are they outgoing? Are they stay in themselves or, or uh, you know what kind of guys are they? Unbelievable. You know, that's what's so primary. I mean, you saw them for T B, you don't think they are the way, you know. Basically what happened to me. But they are like super unbelievable. They always like to teach the young guy, they always like on top of everything team. I think that it's why they are who they are. When they have well, what do you have? You're, you're a free agent. Are you playing in Korea last year? Uh, yeah, I play in Korea. We, we got a champion over there. And uh, last year, I didn't play anywhere. So, I mean, this year, I don't play anywhere. I, I just prepare here to see what happens. So, you, you, still, you still want to keep playing, right? I mean, can, 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 can you keep playing someplace? I mean, I know I have, but like I say, I use want to win here again and uh, see what, what that happens. What's your fondest memory? Is it the World Series one in, in 16? Yes. In 15? Yeah, 15. I, like I said, that was uh, a special season for us. And, uh, yeah, I just said, fortunately, we lost the, the first I, game in extra innings. I was the only person that we want to won. The younger players on the team, you describe what City feels like and uh, – I mean, did they know your history there and all the great catches you had? Yeah, they always ask me, like, oh, you want to be happy because you want to come back to your, to your home. You know, I said, hell, yeah. you know, I've been waiting for that moment. Well, do you, uh, I mean, do you ever look back? I know you had a couple of leg injuries, but, I mean, you, you had a great career here. We're a couple of great teams and, and you know, um, and you played for Terry Collins. And, you, were, you know, I didn't realize you were, you were with the Mets for seven years. It's a long time. Yeah, you know, that's, for me, the Mets, is, it, they are my, my home, you know, my second home. You know, like, like you say, I played my whole career for them. And, uh, I feel good the whole time over there. They treat me really good. And uh, I feel like they my family. They want to be my family club. I, I looked up the research. Let's say and you guys have won 45 titles between you. So it's like the Battle of the Titans, the two best teams in the Dominican League, right? Yes. And I think Jose Offerman is a Lasse manager, another former Met. Yeah, they Jose Offerman, yeah. Yeah, well, in listen, I, I want to wish you the boy, it's good catching up with you, Juan. I mean, I know you did a lot of great things in your career, but I, I just remember that day when you, when you got the, the gold glove. You know, I was a little bit of a pain in the neck. Come on, let's do this in English. And you did it. And you look at you now, you're doing a <laughs> podcast for me. You know, you, yeah. you know my, my English is not perfect, but I just... I just no, you know what? Let, let me tell you a story. The, the, Jose Reyes, when he came here, right, he was 18. And I try to tell Jose, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, it, like, when you, just the people know you're trying. You know, we know there's another guy. Remember Jose Vizcayano? He, 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 he's with the Dodgers now. And he, he, he got through. He, he, you know, the people respect you for trying, you know. I mean, I, I couldn't do an interview in Spanish if somebody asked you, but the fact that you're willing to try and show us what kind of guy you are. Listen, I understand you perfectly. You're doing great. And, uh, you know, I wish you the best in the series and I hope your team wins. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you there. I hope. I will, Juan. And, and you good luck. And I hope you you get a job someplace you want to play and stay healthy. And that's the main thing. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Thank you, Juan. Good, 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 thanks, good, thanks for talking to me, kid. Bye-bye. I wish you the best. Thank you. Bye-bye, King. Bye. <laughs> Bye.